get rich fast with csgofast.com. The second day of ESL1 New York continues. The Swiss system is ongoing and SK have a 2-1 record. Uh, I have with me Taco. Actually, interestingly enough, uh, I was your first video interview, I believe, yeah. at RGN, but it was with the interviewer. So today, your first result was a pretty bad one, or not what you wanted. Uh, Navi kind of rolled over you guys on Mirage. Why did they have such a strong control of that game's economy and pacing? Uh, we lost crucial rounds. Uh, Simple had many, some individual good rounds. So the Digo 4K was, was good, Simple was mad today. <laughs> so they played amazing, we played bad, I played horrible individually, so I'm very sad with this. I'm trying to, 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 to see what's happening with me, uh, but I'm sure that I will, I will get in shape to this tournament. I'm trying to, to get focused at. And so play, Navi played amazing, uh, they, like I said, they broke our economy life every round so it was not a good game for, for us as CT because we didn't ha have a, a good economy so yeah. Do you think uh, having had a coach in a game like that would have helped or do you think Navi were just on fire and it wouldn't have mattered? Uh, I think coach can help as T more than CT so it was not a coach problem like this because our coach even can talk <laughs> just in 30 yeah. seconds so uh, yeah it was not because it was not a coach problem. So next you're playing VP both of you guys have two one records they have a history of uh, being especially at tournaments where you guys are winning a lot being the only team to take maps from you guys is that does that make it a really high pressure game for you guys knowing that? I don't think that we have pressure to play any game we are really calm because we play at many tournaments and majors and everything. So I'm really calm to play against VP. But like you said, VP is an amazing team. Every game that we play against them is a really hard match to play. So they are. I'm sure that they don't have any pressure as well. Will be a will be, will be a war, and we are ready. And looking forward for. Well, just after this event, can you tell me any specific plans you guys have to sort of continue getting back to that number one form? Because you did lose some online matches. Obviously, those are whatever, but are you guys still going to continue? Do you have like any plans for, I don't know, a boot camp, anything like that ahead of the upcoming tournaments like E-League? Yeah, we will do a boot camp in Germany. We just need to, to create new things. We know that some teams are great uh, are watching us playing so they know what we do and we are trying to create new things to change to change some things in our team so yeah we, we will do a boot camp in Germany and then we have many tournaments to play uh, e-league we have ESL Pro League if we if we qualify uh, we have I think DreamHack ECS too ECS as well so we have many tournaments we, we will not have much time to practice but we will try to, to practice so, so, so much uh, in this boot camp in Germany. Okay, and speaking of ESL Pro League Season 4, we talked and you told me just how great uh, it's going to be in Sao Paulo. Maybe if you could tell me uh, what do you think a Brazilian crowd can deliver to a Counter Strike tournament? Brazilian crowd is amazing. I play uh, some tournaments in Brazil, but it was not with the, the crowd. And I think 15, yeah, 15, 15,000 people there in Sao Paulo it will be amazing. I think it will be the most amazing crowd that you guys will see. I promise. <laughs> Is it true that they like are making uh, cutouts of your guys' uh, faces or something like that? Yeah, I, I heard that they are making uh, flags with my face, FNX face, Fallen face, Cozier's face and Fur face as well. So it will be amazing. Speaking of crowds, is the crowd here pretty hype, I guess, you know, especially for Counter-Strike? Because we saw that people sometimes talk about any crowds and have a lot to say, whether they're like immature or anything like that. Like, do you like the crowd here? Yeah, I like the crowd. I don't have anything bad to, to, to talk about this crowd, so for me... It's you, got, you guys are pretty unaffected by crowds compared to some teams, right? You're pretty calm? Yeah, because every time we play against the crowd, so <laughs> we are not in our country, so when, when you are playing in Europe, they, they will not support us, <laughs> at least the crowd. And of course, we have Brazilians here. In, any tournament that we go, that we play, we have Brazilians in the crowd, but 
in general they don't <laughs> support us, but it's okay. We don't. We really don't care. And final question: How are you feeling in SK a few months down the road? Like, do you guys feel like uh, you've gotten the kind of support that you were lacking in the past, and do you feel well taken care of? Uh, sorry. Can you repeat? Uh, that's, how do you feel like in SK as an organization? Like, are they giving you guys the kind of support that you felt you were lacking in the past? Do you feel like you're you found a strong or organization to back you guys up? Yeah, SK is a legendary organization. They are doing everything we need to to play and and practice and and just focus on the game. So SK is amazing. I love this organization. I I saw they they like they tweet in Portuguese now. Yeah, they tweet in Portuguese. So the the Brazilian. Brazilian people love this, so uh, yeah, they take care a lot of us, so I love SK. <laughs> no salad mode. All right, so best of luck. I'll be cheering for you guys, but also it's VP, so I'll have a lot of mixed feelings. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep doing interviews from ESL1 New York. Thank you for your time, Taco, and keep watching.